Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I want to remind you of your inner authority. The inner authority gives life to any and all things outside of you. Any and all things. The ideas and beliefs that you have are expressed in the outside world. Meaning what you believe, the ideas that you entertain or give life to, whether we realize it or not, those ideas are expressed back to us from the outside world. So what lies within us? Excuse the printer in the background, I apologize. What lies within us is reflected back to us. Life is similar to a house of mirrors. I tell you this because your inner authority allows you to see yourself in a different light. It allows you to see the things you're proud of and also the things you're not proud of. I am of the belief that the goal is to not get caught up in what the outside world tells you too often. Because although the outside world is used to reflect things back to us, it doesn't mean that by changing the outside world that we're changing ourselves. No, it's quite the opposite. By changing within ourselves, acknowledging and operating from the authoritative power that we have within us, we can change how the outside world deals with us. And it's not always going to be pretty, but that's absolutely fine. The people, places, entities, ideas outside of us that we believe are more powerful than us, they have more momentum than us, that have more reach than us, it's not true. I know we could say the school system, we could say political parties, we could say uh, militaries, we can say religions. We can run the gambit of all the institutions that have seeming power over the masses. But it's not true. Do these powers play out? Yes. Here's why I say they don't have that much power. Because in order for something outside of you to have more power than you over what you do, you have to give them that power. It's that simple. This is not to say go into uh, your work environment or your school environment or political environment and simply raise hell. Nah. It's about understanding that the only reason you're there is because you chose to be there. Now, as we're younger, we'll say, no, I had to go to school. My parents tell me to go to school, you know, this and that. I get it. I get it. But school is such a minute portion of our life. Our life is truly the school. That's where we learn the lessons of this reality. Now, in the formal school setting, yes, it is a, there's a certain structure just as with any and all things. But when you operate from your inner authority, you understand that even if it's your job that you're going to, they don't have control over you. You gave them authority to take care of or to handle certain aspects of your working experience. Yes, they provide you with funds for your service. But if you don't give the service, they don't provide the funds. It's a trade-off. So you still give them power. It's that simple. Now, I can say that now but for a majority of my life, I thought the opposite. If I have to go to these jobs and I have to do certain uh, roles or certain tasks, I had to play certain roles and do certain tasks, not only to fit in, but to be valued. The whole time, not realizing that the value was in what I provided to the job. It's not to say that I'm bigger than the job at all. And even my choices in actions in different work environments 
led people to believe that I have an issue with authority. It's not an issue with authority. I have an issue with giving my authority away. She has very two different, it's, it's very minute, but it's, very, it's two different perspectives. No, have, have your authority. Walk in your authority. It's absolutely fine for any and everyone outside of me. However, to want to take control of my own inner authority and force me to be who you want me to be, or that just, that's not going to work for me. As I got older, I began to see certain situations play out time and time again, and I received the same response. Okay, so something has to change. And we're going through that change. I began to see hmm, certain aspects of my life fell apart, went away. And I was hurt. Here's the interesting aspect. I wasn't hurt because the situations were no longer part of my life. I was hurting because I was coming back into the inner authority that I've always had. And I realized that I had been neglecting that authority for a majority of my life. Now, being able to come to grips with that and understand it, it also propelled me in a direction to keep me operating in that authority, my own self-authority. And in doing so, I gave grace to others to operate of their own. It's not to say I haven't figured it out now because I have my stumbles. Each and every day there's something. That's okay though. And stepping in my own authority, I begin to clearly see what I do and do not control. And the things that I do not control, I've gotten better at letting go. Not even involving myself with. And the things I can control, I take care of them and I move about. See, there's always going to be ups and downs, and that's absolutely fine. But going through that, that evolution, if you will, of understanding what I was giving away and taking my power back, as many would say, and operating at my own internal power, my own internal authority, that was when I was peaceful. That's when I was more chill. But when I did the opposite, when I looked at the outside for validation, when I looked for others to pass me in authority, I was let down 100% of the time. I recall being at a point where I told myself, I've done everything I could and I'm still not accepted. But I intuitively know that I must maneuver this aspect of my life this way, but it doesn't seem right. I did it anyways. And everything changed. That was that moment I referred to when I realized that I was giving away my power instead of stepping into it. I wish not the hardships, but I wish that understanding for each and every one of you. There's nothing that money, validation, uh, popularity, there's, there's, there's nothing those things can give me that I cannot give myself. Now, that doesn't mean that there's not a use for those things. But the more I settle into myself, the more I'm okay with my day to day. The more I'm okay with even getting on YouTube, which I don't even do social media, so to be able to get on YouTube and say, hey, here's where I'm at. I find peace in that. Because at least I could share something for someone else that I didn't have shared with me. It doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter where you are. We're all going through this experience and it can get <laughs> tumultuous at times. Like, yeah, it could be a wild ride. 
and find your peace in it. Sometimes being stable in that tornado is the only reminder that you need that you're okay. And while you're sitting there watching all the chaos around you, you just have peace with yourself because you're not allowing yourself to be caught up in the chaos surrounding you or to see your proximity. It's fine. Moving your authority, know who you are, find your peace. Will that peace be challenged? Yes. Step in your authority. Know that it's your choice to give away your power of peace or not. Then that's a good place to leave it for now. One step at a time, y'all. And don't forget to smile along the way.